This is question number seven of miscellaneous exercise of chapter thirteen probability. The question is a die is thrown again and again until three sixes are obtained. So we are performing an experiment that is we are throwing a die again and again until three sixes are obtained. The moment we obtain three sixes, the experiment is stopped. Okay, find the probability of obtaining the third six in the sixth throw of a die. Okay, now this. Experiment can continue up to infinite throw. Okay, because there is no limit, or there are no fixed number of throws in which three sixes could be obtained. Okay, so we have to find the probability of obtaining this the uh, third six in the sixth throw of a die. Okay, so when we are going to throw a die for the sixth time, what is the probability that it will give me a third six? Okay, now to solve this question. The third six would be obtained in the sixth throw of a die if, in first five throws, exactly two sixes are obtained. Okay, so if we throw a die for first uh, five times, then in in first five throws, we have exactly two sixes, and the sixth throw results in a six. Then we are going to get the third six in the sixth throw. Okay, now throwing of a die n times a Bernoulli trial when getting A six is a success because there would be fixed number of trials. First of all, because the experiment is going to end when three sixes are obtained. Secondly, if getting a six is a success, then not getting a six would be a failure. Okay, and the probability of a success or a failure remains same for each trial, and each trial is independent. Now, probability of success in a single trial is equal to probability of getting six, and this would be equal to one by six, and we assume that it is equal to p. N is equal to the number of trials, say five, and x is the number of times six uh, six is obtained. So we are going to first of all calculate that what is the probability of of uh, obtaining exactly two sixes in the first five throw. So X will have a binomial distribution in N and P, where in this case N we are going to take as equal to five, and P would and Q, uh, P is equal to one by six and Q is equal to five by six, and probability of X successes would be equal to N C X P to the power of X Q to the power of N minus X, and X can take the value from one to five. Now, probability of X is equal to two. Is probability of getting six exactly two times and and in five throws and this would be equal to five c two into one by two whole to the power of five, into one by six whole to the power of two into five by six to the power of five minus two and this would be equal to five c two into one by six whole to the power of two into five by six whole cube. So this is the probability of of uh, getting uh, six exactly two times in the five throws. Okay. And we are going to solve this value afterward. The probability of getting exact of getting third six in the sixth throw would be equal to probability of getting exactly two sixes in five throw into probability of getting six in the sixth throw. Okay, and this would be equal to the product of this value into one by six. One by six because probability of getting six in any throw is one by six. So in sixth throw, also the probability of getting a six would be equal to one by six. We have to solve the product of these two values. So this would be equal to ten. Five c two is ten, and uh, you can see that in numerator we are going to get five cube, and in denominator we are going to get six to the power of six because this term would give me six square. This term would give me six cube. This would give me six to the power of one. So combining all of them, I'm going to get six to the power of six, which on solving gives me one thousand two hundred and fifty upon forty six thousand six hundred and fifty six, or Which can be simplified as 625 upon 23,328, which is the required answer. So this is how I'm going to solve this question. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube, HSK Shiksha, and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.